What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall .deb files from your jailbroken iOS device. Alright guys, so this is an update to the video I had made a long time ago when I showed you guys how to install .deb files to your device by using the iFile method back when Evasion 7 dropped. For iOS 7, that was a long time ago. Anyway, I did get a few comments on the other video asking how to do this particular thing. I figured I might as well just make a video on this topic because I did have multiple people asking. As you can see, my device has changed a lot since the last video and I am on iOS 8.1.2 with other jailbreak tweaks installed. One of which I will show you how to uninstall today. The tweak I am talking about is CarPlay iOS. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys the latest update just yet because I am one of the few to have an early beta build of the next preview. And also, the developer wants me to wait until it's fully stable to show it to you guys. But as soon as I can, I definitely will. Alright, so the next thing we're going to actually do is go ahead and open up iFile. So make sure you have this installed, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And as you guys can see, once it fully loads up, we will be in our slash var slash mobile slash documents section. And this is where my CarPlay iOS.deb is saved. So now we can actually just go ahead and tap on it and tap installer if we wanted to install it if we haven't installed it yet. Finish with the result code zero, and you guys can find more about that um, in my previous tutorial that I'll have linked in the description, and also I'll probably put an annotation. But also you can actually just go ahead and swipe over to the right, and go ahead, if you do time it right, you can swipe over to the right and go ahead and just press delete. It does take some timing though, because if you actually uh, don't do it fast enough, like I said, that uh, other thing will pop up. And once you get over there, I have to actually figure out where the uh, trash directory is. So once you go over there to fully actually clean uh, the .deb file itself uh, off your device, you want to actually just go ahead and go into the trash. Go ahead and select var and go ahead and just go over to the trash icon and just press empty trash. Once you do that, it'll say the trash got success successfully emptied and now you're done uh, with iFile. So now the next thing we have to do is actually just go ahead and uninstall it physically on our device. You can see it's still there. So now we have to open up Cydia. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And once Cydia loads, we will actually just go ahead and search for what we actually just uninstalled. Like I said, what you want to do is just search for it. And once you see it, we're going to tap on it. So it's CarPlay iOS. And as you guys can see in the description of this, we know it's the beta build because it says with this preview, you have two new apps, Messages app and Maps app. But anyway, to actually just go ahead and remove this, we can go ahead and tap on the top right, which says remove. So we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to do that right now. So once we do that, as you guys can see, it looks like any other page, uh, like install, modify, remove, reinstall, whatever. So we're going to just press confirm. And as you guys can see, it'll start uh, removing CarPlay iOS from our device. And depending on what you're actually removing, it might ask you to respring, but uh, this jailbreak tweak by default actually just places an app on your home screen, so it doesn't actually, um, you know, make you respring by default, even if you're installing it. So um, when you're actually removing this, it's not going to say, it'll just say return to Cydia. It won't actually say respring or reboot device or whatever. So here we go. As I said here, the Big Boss repo description is different. It is definitely a lot more. And um, so that anyway, it, the reason why it defaults to the Big Boss repo description is because when I uninstalled the tweak, it actually went ahead and removed the uh, .deb file from my device permanently, um, you know, the actual files that were required to install removed from my device. So now it just thinks that I have a regular, you know, I'm going to have a regular copy of CarPlay iOS. So because we actually uninstalled the tweak or removed the tweak, when we actually go ahead and back out of Cydia, you should see that our CarPlay iOS app, which was once on our home screen, is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to swipe through all of my pages, and you guys can see these are all of my pages. I don't have any apps hidden, and you guys can see that CarPlay iOS is nowhere to be found. I can even search for it on Spotlight, and as you guys can see, nothing's actually going to pop up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really hope that that helped. If it did help, please remember to smash that like button. You guys are doing awesome with that. And I will have a few more videos out today, including another tutorial on a Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Let's Play. So make sure to subscribe to get them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you in the next video. This is David, signing out. Peace.